Assalamu alaikum sisters and welcome to today's session. Um, today we have Ustada Nisreen joining us and I am really excited. Um, she's going to be well, teaching us and helping us to understand the mistakes that are commonly made when we're saying Jazakallah Khair to someone. Um, she should be joining us in a few minutes. And I thought I'd start off just by saying how this came about. Um, and it actually came from my own mistake. I, I, I take um, Quran lessons with Ustada. And in one of my lessons, I said Jazakallah. And um, she then corrected me. And I just really thought it would be nice to be able to share this with um, all, all the sisters because I made a mistake and I didn't know I was making a mistake. Um, but I see this a lot in the messages that I get. Um, you know, you hear it on the road when you're out and about, you can just hear someone saying Jazakallah. Um, so I thought it'd be really prominent to have Ustad a teacher at all, um, inshallah. Um, I don't know. Okay. I um. Yeah, that's that's really it. It's uh. I'm on a learning journey, and Arabic is I, I'm trying to learn, and I've learned it's very complicated. Um especially for those of us who English is our first language. So it's getting used to the different parts of your, your voice and sorry, not your voice, but your like your throat and your mouth and getting the sounds out. So I am learning a lot. Um, and as I go along, inshallah, I hope to share with you. Um, do believe Ustada Nisreen is joining us now. Oh, she's connecting. Okay. Assalamu alaikum, Ustada Nisreen. Oh, can you hear me? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I can hear you. Alhamdulillah. Um, I will pass on to you. I've introduced you. Um, I've explained a bit about how it came along that I, I wanted to share this with the sisters as well. Um, so I'll pass over to you, inshallah. Jazakallah khairan. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihi al-kareem. Muhammadan sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Amma ba'd. Jazakumullahu khairan, uh, my dear sister. And really, mashallah, I am uh, thrilled with your um, light uh, and wanting to uh, spread something you found beneficial to everyone um I I'm, I'm trying as well to correct uh, something about it so inshallah here it goes so first we and and as as to say jazakallah khairam first we have to start by offering um something good or acknowledging when we are offered something good so when you are, for example, um, in your room, if you're cold and then someone, maybe a family member, your friend hands you a warm cup of tea. So that is, that is a bless. That is it's called in Arabic, ihsan, something, something hasan, something beautiful. So your answer to that is following the Prophet Sallallahu guidance when he said, من صنع إليكم معروفا فكافئه. Whoever done something معروف good to you, reward them. So, how do you reward the person that offered you the warm cup of tea or coffee or a blanket when you are, for example, in the living room doing something and didn't realize that your shoulders are getting cold and you found someone offering you that gel or blanket? So reward them so you could actually do something about it you could give them a, a kiss a hug you could say thank you and you could say jazakallahu khairan um or jazakillahu khairan we're going to talk about this in a second um 
Muhammad Sallam another another hadith said, if you would say Jazakallah khairan to someone, that is the best reward ever you could give. And that is why you hear it so common that people will say Jazakallahu khairan. But what is actually common that people say only Jazakallah. Right? And I want my sister to participate with me. Yes, you are li listening, but I would like you to, uh, is the chat open, my sister, for them to text or to answer me as I ask? Yes, it is. Okay, Jazakallah khairan. So the commonly used is Jazakallah, right? But what does Jazakallah mean? Jaza itself or Jaza itself means a compensation. Okay? So you see in the in the first hadith I shared, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said فَكَافِئُوهُ It didn't say فَجَزُوهُ It said فَكَافِئُوهُ Because مُكَافَأَ is a good reward. But Jaza is not a good reward or bad reward. It's just a compensation for something that was done to you. So if you say Jazakallah, that doesn't actually suggest that you're calling or you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a good reward for that person. You see, you're saying just may Allah compensate you. This is what you say. Is that clear, my sisters? Please answer on, on the, on the uh, chat or in the text. So what does Jazakallah only mean? Jazakallah only means may Allah compensate you. And even uh, sometimes we are, um, we found like a abbreviation of it and we put J, right? A K or K H, something like that, to, to express Jazakallahu khayran, you see? So, um, First, Jazakallah only, it is not Jazakallah khairan. Because you're just saying, you're calling for a compensation for the for the person that made you the favor or the good thing that you want to reward them for. But you're not actually asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward them with good. If you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward them with good, then you have to add the word khairan. And khairan means good. All types of good that you can imagine or you can't. So, for example, um, you could at the, at the same moment want that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them the same warmth or good uh, feeling that they give you when they give you that blanket or that cup of tea. And you could actually want more for them. So based on your intention and your sincere dua, they're going to get, right? So this is the first bit of it. Jazaka. As, as a general form, Jazaka Allahu Khayran means may Allah compensate you with all types of good. You see? Who would like to write it on the, on the text in English so we can see it? Jazaka, so and after the K, add the A, Allahu Khayran. How would you write that? Try, please. Okay, so you join Jazaka together with Allah's name. I would, um, Jaz, it's, it's not Jazaka, that would mean something completely different. It's one Z only, because if you double the Z, that, that emphasizes. Ahsanti jazaka Allahu khayran, like that. So you see that A at the end of jazaka, because you, if the general form that you, if you take, if you, when you learn it, you speak to one man as generally. However, if you're talking to a lady, then that A that uh, my sister Anisa added would turn into an I. So you say jazaki. Allahu khayran. Can you try uh, writing it? And khayran, um, R-A-N, because run like that, you're making it shorter than ran. It's actually ran. Jazaki Allahu khayran. That if you're speaking to 
your sister in Islam, your mom, your daughter? What if you speak into a group? Or you don't want to specify. Try not, not to mix my sister, my sister A and A. Try to split between Jazaki and then write Allah's name with capital A. Jazakum again, split. Jazakum is one word. Allahu is a different word. Khayran is a different word. Because this is how we write them in Arabic, three different words. If you add, if you kept that this habit, it means you will fall back and say Jazakallah and you want to put khayran. Yes, like that. Jazakum Allahu khayran. Or Jazaki for, for your sister in Islam, Allahu khayran. Or Jazaka for your brother, for your husband, for your son, Allahu khayran. Or Jazakum Allahu khayran for a person that you don't want to be, to be specific. But as well, when you say Jazakum, it shows respect. In Arabic in general, when you when you speak with the kum, it shows more respect. So, for example, when you enter the room and only your sister is there or your son is there and you say, when you want to say as-salam, you don't have to say as-salamu alayka. You see, this is how it sounds. It's like when you say jazakallahu khayran, you want to say as-salamu alayka wa rahmatullahi because he is one. Yet, you still say assalamu alaykum because kum is more respect. So jazakum, you say to gener generally to anyone if you want, or to show respect, like someone older than you, someone you don't know for sure, and you don't know if um, maybe you're going to say jazaka and you mix it with jazaki and they misunderstood. So jazakum is, is, can save you from that. So, for, this is the first about how to spell it, how to write it, how to say it. Uh, are there any questions regarding that? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It has nothing to do with the gender, just the grammar. Okay. What is it? What is it that has nothing to do? Sorry, I don't, I couldn't understand. Actually, the jazakallah and jazakallah, it has nothing to do with the gender. It is just the grammar which has to be corrected by us. No, it has something to do with the gender because if you say jazaki, that's yeah. key at the end. You speak into a lady. Yeah. And jazaka, you speak into one gentleman. If you say jazakum, that's speaking mm -hmm. to a group or to one, but uh -huh. showing respect. Okay, and uh, mostly we all have got into a habit of just saying Jazakallah and we actually take it as a thank you to all. So I, that is incorrect. Yeah, because Jazakallah, it, it's not saying thank you. You're just saying may Allah compensate you. Mm -hmm. So maybe so it has not. Uh, so sorry. over there, the gender correction is not required. When you say Jazakallah? Yeah. No, the, the gender, again, if you say Jazakallah, it means you're speaking to a man, Jazaka, that Ka at the end. Yeah, the Ka and the Ki uh, differentiates the gender. Yes. But, uh, as you said, it is just like uh, compensating uh, with a uh, thanks to the person. No, so, compensation can, can j what what I'm trying to tell you is the word Jazza yeah. or, or, or alone mm -hmm. in Arabic can just mean and yeah, can Giving mean, Jazza uh, to the person. Mm -hmm. Yes, and the the the, the, the jaza can be good and can be bad. Uh -huh. Okay, can you help me uh, a step forward with it? Is there any substitute to jazakallah? Because we have actually got into a habit of, uh, you know, uh, just uh, blindly saying jazakallah to all the gender group or, you know, uh, anybody we come across. So is there a substitute to a word which we can actually start a fresh new with? Okay, so I will, I will answer to that, inshallah. So um, if you want to start a fresh new word, if it if it's, um, has a prayer related, mm -hmm. then we need to, to have the authentication of that. So the only yeah. one that we have authentication of is Jazakallah oh. Khairan. But Khairan is there in, the, in, the, in that phrase. If you want to replace it altogether, you can just say thank you, shukran. That's it. Yeah, that's it. 
basically plain means thank you. But, but, but yes, thank you is appreciating and it is okay because Prophet Muhammad said you reward the person that made something good for you. So thank you is appreciating. If you want to say a prayer like Jazakallah Khairan, it's a dua. It's a prayer. Yeah. So we need to say it correctly. That's it. So Jazakallah Khairan for a gentleman. Jazakallah Khairan for a lady. Thank you so much. Hmm. Does that answer your question or not? Yeah, of course. I, I kind of got a clarity to it. And I hope and wish to like uh, correct myself hence for using it. Thank you so much, sister. You're welcome, my sister. Okay, I'll read now the because I received some few questions. Please, you write here one sister. So we learn. Oh, you want me to write? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. You you did you did write it correctly. For example, um, my sister. Uh, if you look up A N A. Jazaki Allahu Khairan. It's correct. If you're speaking to a man, you will just replace the I with the A. Jazaka. Okay. All right. So, is if this settled, we move on. If not settled, please keep asking. If you still have questions about why do we change it or why do you have to say it like this or like that, continue asking, please. Okay, um, one of the sisters has asked if you could list all the correct ways. Um, what I would suggest the Ustada is at the end, um, if you want to send me the correct ways, and then I will put it on the WhatsApp groups. Yeah, of course, I don't mind. Yes, please. I will, you want me to write them in Arabic or in English? Um, can we do both, please? Yes, I think the English, the sister, mashallah, got, got it covered here. Like, I can see Jazak, yes. Allahu Khairan, it incorrectly, the word separated, Jazak, Allahu Khairan, Jazakum, Allahu Khairan. So, but yes, I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, we, if we do it at the end, then we can just send it out as a list, inshallah. Yes, of course, no problem. So, wh wh why is this important? Why are we raising this issue? It's because, as you all said, it is commonly spread that you just say Jazakallah, Jazakallah, Jazakallah. It was said to me and every time I told the person actually you need to say Khairan. But they find what, but how, you see? Like it, it is the, that moment of surprise, like you thought you're saying it correctly. So what you need, just that adjustment, or if you want to make a prayer, you can say Barakallahu Fikum as a, as a, as a dua. Aisha radiallahu anha, for example, someone offered her uh, a gift, she said, Barakallahu Fikum. You don't have to say Jazakallahu Khairan. You can, if you if you want to have another prayer, I, I think this is answer to my sister that asked me about a, a replacement. What about this? What is it? Is that easy, easier to say? Barakallahu Fikum. Is that okay? Or you find that difficult? Um, okay. Ustada, what does Barakallah fi hukum mean, please. I will explain. Okay. Oh, can can I ask you something more about it? Uh, I have heard usually when you offer food to someone, people say Barakallah fi So does that mean thank you for offering? Because I'm not very, very good at the Arabic or translation. So I would like you for guidance. Yes, my, my sister Rashida just asked. I also will answer for both, inshallah. What is What does it yeah. mean? So it's still yeah. just like Jazakallah Khairan, you're making a prayer or a dua with good for the person that yeah. offered you something or did you a favor. So mm. the, I have actually seen uh, I have actually seen people do it, especially when you're offering food. Uh, but but really doesn't spend. It can be offering anything, um, okay, a help, okay. a hand. Jazakallah mm -hmm. Khairan is for all. No no no. Barakul of Allah him. Barakallahu feekum. So baraka, yeah. it's another dua like jazaka, but baraka doesn't have a U in it. The U is all the way in the end in the feekum. So baraka mm -hmm. is the bless, blessing mm -hmm. from Allah. Allahu is the one who does the blessing. So it's like you say, may Allah bless and then feekum mm -hmm. you all or the prospect form. So you're, you're speaking to one and you say feekum. If you're speaking 
to one man, you say Fika. If you're speaking to one girl, you say Fiki. You see? So you could say Farakallahu Fikum, which is general and more respect. Just like Jazakum, Allahu Khairan. Or Barakallahu Fikum. That's another dua that you can give as a thank you and as a reward for whomever did something good to you. Thank you so much. Okay. Is that clear, my sisters? Allah bless you in it. No, no, it's not in it. It's like the fee bit is you. It's just Arabic um, word. So, fee come in you. So, may Allah like put the baraka, put the bless inside of you. This is what barakallahu fee come mean. So, but it's a, it's a respect or the, the many form just like jazakum or assalamu alaikum so because we say assalamu alaikum it makes sense if you say jazakum allahu khairan or barakallahu fikum i think it's easier if you make it in that but of course up to you so what would you say after that after someone say jazakum allahu khairan the answers can really jazaka jazaki wa shallah ahsanti my sister well done this is the Arabic way, jazaka with the fatha in the beginning, jazaki with the kasra jazakum, with all or to all. Um, what would you say when someone says jazakallahu khairan? You can simply say, and this is again another one that is spread, you can say wa iya kum. What does wa iya kum mean? And you too, amin is good, but you have to say amin and you. You see? Like me. And you as well. And you could as well say, um, and whoever listened to us, for example, may Allah would like, the answer is you and me and everyone else. So the answer is really free. You can answer any way you like, as long as it's polite and it involves you and the speaker. So you can say you and me, inshallah. You can say وَإِيَّاكُمْ in Arabic, which means and you all, and we all. But if you say وَإِيَّاكَ, and you specified with the ka, then you speak into a gentleman. If you say وَإِيَّاكِ, you speak into a lady. Again, the general form, I think, is easier and straightforward. When you say وَإِيَّاكُمْ. This is for the first one. For the second one, بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ. And you say وَفِيكُمْ. And in you too. Or, وَفِيكُمْ بَارَكَ اللَّهُ وَإِيَّاكِ Yes, singular feminine. وَإِيَّاكَ Masculine. وَإِيَّاكُمْ For to all. Okay. أَحْسَنْتِ my sister. جزاك الله خيران. So, so how would you answer me? It's a trick for you. Jazakillahu khayran. What would you say? Um, is there any sisters that would like to answer? I would like to please? answer. I, I want to say Jazakillahu khayran. What would you answer? You can open the mic and speak or you can type it. It's okay. I think I will say Barakallahu Fiq. Fiq is general, is it? Barakallahu Fiqum. Fiqum. Okay. So with the Fiqum is like a group of people. One or more, yeah? Fiqum. Uh, Fiqum is a group or respect? Respect. Okay, inshallah. So, yeah, like that. Barakallahu Fiqum. I you want say to say to one only specifically that, lady, you can say Fiqi. Okay, Fiqi. Okay. And I will respond to you Wayaki, because you're feminine. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Jazakallah. Thank you. Wayaki. Uh, okay, so Barakallahu Fikum, it has few answers. As you said, you could say Wafikum only, Wafikum, and in you too. You could say Wafikum Barakallahu, and in you Allah bless. You see? Barakallahu fiki or barakallahu fikum or barakallahu fika. 
the answer and in you. Wafikum or wafiki or wafiki barakallahu. So it is really not the answer is up to your uh, preference as long as you're saying it correctly. Pick as as I said, the general form is okay. For, and it goes for everyone. You don't have to specify the gender uh, key or ka if you're speaking to with kum. So you can use this one. And you, your answer, وَإِيَّاكُمْ وَإِيَّاكِ بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكُمْ وَفِيكُمْ بَارَكَ اللَّهُ All that is okay. I hope that made sense to you and helped you. Sorry, sister, just one quick question. Um, when the sister was writing... Um, you know, when I wrote, my name is Shimoli, when I wrote on the chat, Wayaki, I put three spaces. I mean, there's, mine is spaced out. And, oh. Uh, uh, so that's what I was just wondering. I was just reading back again. And Sister AXA wrote uh, Wayakum, like she didn't leave any gap. So what is the correct way of writing it so we're not making mistakes? Without realizing subconsciously, we're not just like you know, without realizing. Okay, so the Arabic word wa is just the letter wa means m. Iyakum is one word, so you can separate separate them like my sister did. Um, my sister a, a and a or axa. I hope I'm saying it correctly, my sister. Oh, it's axa aksa. Axa. A K S A. I have just played around with the spelling here. Oh, A K X A. <laughs> A K S A. A K K S A. Masjid Al Aqsa. Oh, Masjid. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I behaved in the chair today. <laughs> no, no, that's I'll correct okay. it. I'm just not familiar with it. Sorry, it's okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, actually you wrote it all, mashallah, in the right, she separated the wa, which is letter wa with Arabic with fatha on it, from the rest, which is another word. So, wa iyakum, wa iyaki, wa iyaka is right. Can you see when she put general sister brother in this bit? This is right. In barakallahu fiki, my sister Um Yusuf, try to split between baraka and Allah because it's not one word, it's two words. As my sister um, Tamina put, Barakallahu fikum, three words. So when you write in English, it's, uh, make a space between Baraka and Allah. Same goes. Uh, okay, uh, my sister Tamina, the, the last thing you, you posted, it needs a space between the wow and all of them. You see, wa iyaka is not one word. The wa is one letter separate, and there is a space between it and iyaka, a space between it and iyaki and iyakum. Insha'Allah, yes, we write it like that as well. In is one word. Sha is one word. Allah is a different word. Three words. And I see it very, very common written all one together. It is not like that. When you say insha'Allah, it, literally, it's the right thing. Yes, Ahsan to my sister. Jazakallah khairan. Okay. Um, I have to go, but I can... I, one more minute, please, if you have any more questions or something uh, that you found hard to uh, understand or tell me. One last minute. Jazakallah khair, sisters. May Allah reward you with the best. And please keep us in your du'as. Allah is testing us with our health and our wealth. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. May Allah make it easy for all of us. Jazanallahu wa iyaakum, my sister. Um, may Allah reward you for these minutes you spent here mentioning him because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have sent angels to look for these places that talk about him. And then when the angels go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, Allah asked them a few questions. One of them, what do they want? Why are we here? You see? So let's let's make the dua uh, individual, inshallah. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-jannata wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin wa amal. Wa na'udhu bika min al-nar wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin wa amal. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru allaha li wa lakum. Jazakumullah khairan for your hospitality. My sister Rashida, Jazakumullah khairan for the invitation. I hope uh, may Allah make it easy for all of us through this time. 
and I'll speak with you inshallah soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam. Jazakallah khairan to you as well, Ustada, for te- taking time to teach us. Wa ayyakum, my sister. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, my lovely sisters, how did you find that session? Um, again, if you'd like to open open up on the, sorry, and mic yourselves, or if you'd like to send a message in the group. Um, I have our lovely sister, Tahmina, who is also an alima with us. So she may be able to answer any questions that you um, have. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, Rashida? Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, alhamdulillah. We really, really enjoyed that session, mashallah. Sister Mr. really put that into perspective. Yeah. It's important, isn't it? Because um, we are on autopilot mode. We are literally saying Jazakallah, and we just want to say it really quickly and go past, but we, we don't realize that. Yeah, and there's also the I mean, misconception of it being meaning thank you, which is what I always thought. I always thought, oh, I'm just saying thank you. Um, but it means much, much more than that. Um, and when I realised that, I thought, no, we have to share it because I, you know, I made this mistake and I'm sure there's lots of people doing it. Um, so I'm very grateful that Allah showed me the right way and um, oh, yeah. I was able to bring the starter on to share Hello. it with us. Hello. Just, just give me a second, I'm just going to... Just okay. Um, Sorry. I, was, um, I just wanted to add to that, mashallah, um, that, my, like, for example, when we say a word in Arabic, like how important it is to pronounce it properly or to realise what we're saying and how we're saying it, like certain words, like when we say Jazakallahu khairan, like for example, that's for a male. And the, um, Sister Nisun explained that very beautifully, that obviously there's gen, even in English, when we say thank you, like generally you doesn't have a gender, it could be anyone, right? Because in Arabic, the you has a gender. Yeah. So it's really important to, and then it's got a group gender, it was, um, it's, there's about uh, 14. 14 different uh, ways of saying you. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no, that's so, so important to, like, obviously, if you don't um, understand the Arabic and go into it, it's very easy to say. And if, obviously, Allah SWT looks at the intention and whatever we've been doing and saying, Allah SWT knows our intention. Allah SWT knows that we didn't intend jaza, like the compensation in a bad way. Yeah. That's when that looks at, at our intention first. But it's also important to follow with amal, with um, action. Mm. So this is really important that we do say Jazakumullahu khairan properly um, going forward so that we are wishing good reward for someone. Because reward can be of two types. You can wish, like, if you're very angry at someone, may, may Allah reward you or compensate you for what you have done. And that's where we need to be very careful. What are we saying? Yeah. And that in itself, if you just think, may Allah compensate you, it yeah. can be, you know, like you just said, whether you're in a good mood or a bad mood, you don't know how it's taken. And, you know, I, I've i caught myself, I've caught myself a couple of times just replying, Jazakallah. And then I'm like, no, 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 correct it. And I, I, I will correct it or I'll say Jazakallah. And a couple of seconds later, I'm like, khair, because I've just remembered. Um, but it's it's yeah. really important, sisters. To I mean, it's, it's just a second, isn't it? But why? Yeah. Because we have to say that extra word. But we say so many things. We talk about so many things. Why is it so difficult? I think we've become that kind of people that we want to shorten everything, quick. Yeah, I think it's also you know with text messaging, it's just you see J Z K. Uh, sorry, J Z K. And I, in, I instantly, I, I would read it as Jazakallah. And then I forget the khair. And then when I'm like reading it, I'm, I'm adding it myself. Um, so I think it's the shortening of the text as well. Um, yeah. But we have to be 
you know, wishing each other good. Um, so sisters, even if you do forget to say it, just add it in at the end. I'm doing it all the time. So inshallah, we'll get to a point where it's coming automatically. And Alhamdulillah, I think a lot of sisters are saying, um, and not, not to put anyone off, but they are using the Jazakum la khair, uh, Jazakum la khairan, um, Barakallahu feek, all these things, um, all these beautiful du'as, more and more now, and realizing the importance of it. So let's carry that on and take it forward, because we will get rewarded for every word, every letter that of, you know, that takes us to remember of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is a remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is rewarding to say it and to say it correctly and to try it. And even if we can't say it correctly, don't be put off. Try your best and leave the rest with Allah. That's it. Keep trying, sisters. Um, and as, mm. as uh, Coach Tahmina said, Allah knows our intentions. Um, but I would add to it that we also have a responsibility to correct ourselves. So when you realize it, just correct it. It doesn't matter if you've made the mistake, as long as you're recognizing it and you're correcting it. Um, and inshallah, we will we will all get there. Um, right, on that oh. note, my lovely sisters, if you have any questions, please put them in the chat box. Um, otherwise, I will end the recording and I will say Jazakallah khair to all of you for joining us today. Jazakum, Jazakallah. Sister Tahmina, help me, please. <laughs> I'm having one of those moments. Okay, Jazakumullahu khairan. So we're saying it to everyone. Jazakumullahu khairan. Jazakallah. Jazakum. Jazakum. It's fine. That's good, mashallah. It's a learning for all of us. I've been there, done that, sis. Honestly, it's no problem. We've all had to learn somewhere. We start somewhere. So Jazakum. So Jazakum is for the group. Because it joins with the Shadda to the Lamb, we, although it's two separate words, you say it together with the Allah. So Jazakum. Jazakum. Yeah. Jazakumullahu. Jazakumullahu. Khairan. Khairan. Yeah. Jazakallah. Oh, I've done it again. See. It's in my in my brain. My brain's going too fast for my mouth. No, it's okay. Jazakallah. <laughs> but um, like Sister Nisreen said, that um, when you say Jazakumullahu khairan, it's like say Assalamu alaikum. You don't have to say Assalamu alaikum just to you, one person. Yeah. You can you can collectively say as a group. So at all times, you're actually saying it to whoever's in the room or whoever's listening, and they will get the jaza of khair as well. The conversation are good as well. So we're giving the dua to everyone at the same time. So we can say Jazakumullahu khairan. Jazakumullahu khairan. Jazakumu. Okay, just give me one minute, sister. I'm going to type it as I go along. Um, okay. Jazaku. Jazaku. Mullahu. Mullahu. Khairan. Khairan. Jazakumullahu khairan. Jazakumullahu khairan. See, when I've got it written down, I can say it. Um, Jazakumullahu Practices. You just have to sit there. Practice a few times. Inshallah, you'll see you'll come in good time. And that's okay. Like you said, mashallah, that Allah knows your intention, but obviously action needs to follow. You need to try your best. Keep going, sisters. Yes. So, okay. Jazakumullahu khairan. Jazakumullahu so, wants to say something. Yeah. What are sisters wants to talk? Yeah? Uh, sorry? Does one of the sisters want to talk? AA? I'm not sure who that is. Um, oh, Sister Axel. Is there yeah? anything you want to say? Uh, no, I just wanted to thank, but I loved listening to both of you so much that I just stopped. Uh, thank you, Rashida, for, uh, you know, giving us an insight that there's no age and uh, uh, to learn something as little as a uh, Jazakallah and uh, correcting ourselves. Because I think basically it all stems up uh, from unawareness of uh, knowing how to use the Arabic language to 
uh, the maximum benefit because when we uh, mess up the grammar, we actually have very good intentions, but we unknowingly don't know what we are saying. Yeah. As the uh, Arabic itself is a language, and the grammar of it is, is difficult to us to understand. But as uh, it is a language of God, uh, of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala as well, it is so mm -hmm. nourishing uh, to attend the session and actually correct and uh, take baby steps towards our small uh, fall, uh, false uh, things. You know, when we are like making it faulty, unknowingly. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, all of you, well, yeah. for being there. You're welcome, sister. It's it's lovely to be able to share, and that's that's the thing. That's what we're here for. We want to help sisters, um, no matter how small. It may seem like for some sisters that they understand it and it's a small thing. Um, yeah, and I feel it is just the unawareness of it, you yeah. know. It's, uh, you make it faulty being so unaware, thinking that you're blessing the person. But uh, yeah. I, I'm sure Allah knows our intentions. That, uh, you take us a step forward of, you know, making it do correctly. So many thanks to all of you. You're welcome, Jazakallah. Hey. Oh, there we go again. You see, I've already <laughs> lost it. Oh, <laughs> mashallah, mashallah. You got it. I'm going gonna, gonna to stop talking now, I think. <laughs> no, khair, mashallah. Um, no, just like my sister Axel, that is, you know, beautiful, that, that, that reminder. And I, I think you emphasizing it in the group for the other sisters as well. It's, it's really important and it's very beneficial that we learn from each other. And there's no age. There is no age for learning at all. Um, I personally, when I was learning, uh, when I was 16, that's when I proper started learning Tajweed and Arabic, and I had no idea. And I was in a position where some of my classmates, most of my classmates had been learning for many years. And I went into a mental block. I was like, I'm a failure. I'd written myself off as a failure. At the age of 16, I'd decided that, you know, I'm a failure. I can't do this. SubhanAllah, um, my teacher said to me, why are you a failure? Did the Sahabis start off, you know, from birth? Or did they learn the deen as they went? Did they accept Islam? Did they learn the deen? Did they learn things as they went? Did they make mistakes? And when she, when she kept emphasizing these things to me, initially I didn't even understand what she meant. And the more she emphasized it to me, I realized, SubhanAllah, I am not perfect, so why am I expecting perfection from myself? Yes. When we expect perfection from ourselves, from where we are, and expect that, you know, other people my age know better than me, we are, we are not fulfilling the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are always, every day, learning something, and we need to continue to learn something, inshallah. We learn something every day. Our children are not teaching us. We're learning from everyone. So it's not, it's not that we should know, but, um, we should know everything, but we should attempt and try to learn whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us to learn. The knowledge of the dunya and the akhirah, we need to learn that. I mean, to be on that path. Doesn't mean that we're going to become, um, we're going to know everything overnight. It means that we need to be on that path of knowledge until we die. And that's what it is, Pananda. It's one of those, um, it's actually one of the things that Allah tells us that we should be doing. We should be seeking knowledge. Um, no matter, so no matter what age you are, we should always be seeking knowledge and seeking to improve ourselves. Um, so sisters, don't let, don't think that, you know, you're too old or you're too young. You can always improve yourself. You can always better yourself. And that's how Allah has created us so that we seek knowledge and seek to better ourselves um, to serve him and to inshallah attain Jannah. Um, Amen. So I will leave you all today, inshallah. And um, okay. um, and inshallah, our next session, um, I think it's next Wednesday, isn't it, sister? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. I'm really sorry, sisters. Um, I should have had that prepared, but um, we will let you know on the groups. Um, inshallah, this recording will be put up. Give me a bit of time to get my head around it, um, but we'll, we'll get there. Okay, so mm -hmm. assalamu alaikum, everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.